I first noticed it. I was in the car headed back from wrestling practice. I'd already showered, changed. It's been like at least half an hour to 45 minutes since I stopped doing any physical exercise. I could just feel my heart just like thumping out of my chest. Ben mentioned that his heart rate was almost always over 100. When I asked how he knew this, he said it was from some kind of app on his phone. My first thought was that it was just wrong. So I actually dismissed it initially, but he insisted that it was accurate. In the following days, I went down to his room early in the morning before he was up and checked his heart rate at that time, and it was over 100 um, while he was still kind of resting in bed in the morning. So at that time, he was in sort of peak condition. He was 16 and a wrestler, very, very fit, and so his heart rate should have been significantly lower than that. As I began thinking about this fast heart rate and asking myself what could cause it, I started to worry. But at the end of the day, it was just my mom instinct in knowing that something wasn't quite right. So the next step, my mom took me into Children's Mercy. I got my blood drawn. The blood working came back and the test was through. And my mom was I almost excited <laughs> about it because we had an answer to our problem. Our team found that Ben has a change in his genetic blueprint, which causes him to break down some medicines very slowly, including the medicine he was taking for ADHD. So what that means was the medicine was building up in his body, causing some very frightening symptoms. This gene, cytochrome P450-2D6, or CYP2D6 for short, is a gene that we all have, and we all have uh, different sort of versions of it. Our world-class researchers have been pioneering our understanding of CYP2D6 since we first discovered its role in the breakdown of medicines. The particular change that Ben has is a rare one, and so it's not widely tested for, and that's one of the reasons why we were extra lucky to be able to get the test run through the research lab at Children's Mercy, because if he had had just a regular, widely available commercial test, they wouldn't have found it. He would have come out with the normal results and we wouldn't have gotten the answer that we needed. The very first thing we did was just lower his dose. We were able to sort of confidently make that change and know that um, he should tolerate it better, but also still have the effect that he needed. For as long as I can remember, I've had ADHD and I've been taking ADHD medicine. I was relieved knowing that I was on the right medication. What's also important to, to think about or to know um, and very beneficial for us is that lots of different medications are metabolized or processed by this gene. And so this will be a piece of information that then will carry forward and be able to have physicians act on for the rest of his life. It's definitely going to be helpful later on in life knowing that I have a specific genetic variation that does affect how some medicine metabolizes in my body and I'll be able to use that going forward. I think about genomics really being at the front edge of what we're doing, helping us to diagnose diseases better. Precision therapeutics is really that next step, understanding how to find the right drug for the right patient at the right dose exactly when it's needed.